Hello and welcome back to Will It Work? Today we're going to take a look at connecting an optical disc to the iPhone. Now I've mentioned before in some of my videos that I've been trying to get this to work for a while and I've had no luck. I've used a variety of USB CD-ROM and DVD-ROM drives and have not been able to get it to work at all. It became very obvious that Apple is not supporting the optical subclass for USB mass storage. And it kind of makes sense because how many people really are going to put an optical drive on their phone? On top of that, Apple's supported file formats are FAT, XFAT, HFS Plus, and APFS. 99% of data CDRs were in ISO 9660 and 99% of data DVDRs were in UDF. So those file formats aren't even supported anyway. The only thing that would work is an HFS disk, of which there's very few. So Apple had some of their system software disks on them, iLife, iWork, and Mac owners that burn some files to an optical disk themselves might have them in HFS Plus as well. But that's about it, a real drop in the ocean compared to what's out there. So it was very obvious that they didn't have any interest in supporting that. Still, I thought there might be a way to get it to work. Just like the floppy disk subclass is not supported, I was able to get it to work inside of that Emation Super Disk, and I made that video last summer. Because it is its own thing, it uses the SCSI subclass of USB, it's just backward compatible with the old floppy disk, and I was kind of able to sneak it in the back door and get it to show up on the iPhone. So I thought maybe we could do something similar with a DVD-ROM drive or a CD-ROM drive. And I had a lot of luck with SCSI to USB. I have a whole series on that, and I've had just great luck with that. So I said, let's try that. So I bought a external CD-ROM drive with a SCSI interface. It was an Apple one from the mid-90s, I think the 600E. And I tried it out and it didn't work at all. And so I thought, well, let's try one more thing. Let's go with a SCSI DVD-ROM drive, a different manufacturer. I think Matsuda made the Apple one. So I'd go to a different manufacturer, get a DVD-ROM drive, something newer. I looked at all of those and from that time period, those are all like pulled from servers and they're very, very expensive, like 200 bucks on eBay. And I was like, you know, it's still probably not gonna work. I'm not gonna spend $200 on that. And then I kind of came across these, I kind of forgotten about this, but these are uh, SATA DVD burners. And they're like $10 on eBay. They're pulled from working PCs and they're just dirt cheap. And I already had this adapter for SATA drives and IDE drives I bought a while ago for this channel. I just hadn't found anything interesting to do with it yet. It does IDE here on the sides and SATA on this cable. So I thought, let's do that. I can, I can afford 10 bucks. So I got it in and I hooked it up with this adapter to my iMac and it worked perfectly. I can read CDs, burn them, read DVDs, burn them. It works exactly like a native USB drive would. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. So let's get it all set up here. I'll be right back and we'll see if we can get it to work with the iPhone. Okay, and we're back. So we're going to try this disc here. Mac OS 10.6 Snow Leopard. This was the last operating system that Apple released on optical media. It is an HFS Plus DVD-ROM. Yep, absolutely nothing. Still doesn't work. However, I have one more thing to try because this drive is also a DVD RAM drive. Now, what is DVD RAM? Well, it's a special format, and unlike Dash R, Plus R, RW, all that, which you usually find in every drive now, you have to find a drive that can specifically do DVD RAM. And it is very different from how normal optical media works. So on the back of the Snow Leopard disc, it's just like any other CD-ROM or DVD-ROM, and the data is recorded in a spiral. And you can add to it later, but you don't have random access to it. You can't go back and delete files here. You have to just keep adding to it until it's full, and then you either throw it away, or if it's a rewritable, you can erase the entire thing and start over but it's not like a regular disc where you can just pick and choose what files get deleted. 
This is a DVD-RAM disc. And if you look at the back of it, it's very different. It has disc sectors, just like a hard disc does, a floppy disc, a zip drive, same thing. So this has random access. You can delete files you've already recorded onto it. One file, a bunch of files, whatever you want. And you can also format this in any file system that the operating system supports. For instance, you can format these in FAT32. Or on a Mac today, you could format these in APFS, something you wouldn't normally see. So they basically work just like a giant floppy disk. So this one's in FAT32, which the iPhone supports. So let's give it a whirl. Yeah, nothing. And I've tried it in HFS Plus, XFAT, and APFS, and also in a powered USB hub, and it doesn't matter. So unfortunately, this is the end of the road for trying to get an optical disc to work with the iPhone. The closest we came was the Magneto optical discs that I did a few months ago. They're partially optical. They read optically with a laser, but they write with a magnetic head. But most people for them, what they think of as an optical disc, purely optical are these, and yeah, will it work with the iPhone? No. You know, it's funny, I mean, people probably always assume every video I make is going to work, and I get that sometimes in the comments, they're like, well, of course it's going to work, you wouldn't have filmed the video otherwise. That's not true. Um, I will tell you this, if I make a video where something doesn't work, I will try to exhaust all reasonable options to get it to work before I film that video. I won't just try it one time and make a video. So this is unfortunate, but hopefully next time we get back on our winning streak. If you haven't already or you're new here, please like and subscribe. It does help out. I will be back soon with new videos, but that's all for today. Take care.